How does one get autism with getting a flu shot, etc? Oh wait, that doesn't work. No, it's not so much as the flu shot. We're talking about vaccinations for the measles or hepatitis A, B, and C or tuberculosis, stuff like that. You or know, literally stuff- any preventable disease that has been fucking to the point of nearly being eradicated thanks to vaccines. Um, yeah. Yeah. Now they're starting the whole, to come the, back because idiots are like, oh, vaccines cause autism. <laughs> it's not true, though. It's been sci- t- scientifically proven not to be true. And yet, entitled parents believe otherwise. I'm just protecting my baby. So you're okay with your precious baby getting the measles and having them spread it to other children. But no, let's risk getting vaccinated because it might give you autism. No, might. It won't! I mean, it so won't. I came into a very interesting conversation. Okay, let me ask you, you know, this. No, Ellie, did you see in the travel chat? Yeah, I saw. Yeah, that, that's what. That's I'm, I'm just reading at this point. I want to. I want to bitch slap every parent who believes that vaccinating their children is bad. No, you know what's bad? Not vaccinating your kids. They get sick and they spread it to other children, and thereby endangering the population. Fuck you, entitled parents. Yeah, no. Okay, here's a better question. What would you have? Some kind of mental name or some kind of mental title that doesn't really do much damage to you compared to a legit sickness that can actually put your life in danger. Take your pick! It doesn't even do any... It doesn't even do damage to you. It just means you function in a different manner. There you go! Exactly! Exactly! Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck. Bless you. Yeah, oh, you see shit, this you mo- didn't get vaccinated. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit! Here we go again. <laughs> All right, but this is probably a heated topic because I know this topic gets political at times. So, eh, let's change the subject. Yeah. I actually, uh, I was gonna tell the story, a story that I had found out about something. So, mm-hmm. uh, oh, go for it. Now, it, no, it, it's to do with vaccinations. Uh, you know, what, go ahead. Go ahead. Um. Okay. So, um, I don't know how many people are familiar with this story. There was a kid who's who had like I guess he had like three older siblings or something the first two had been vaccinated and after that his parents started buying into the whole like vaccines will vaccines will kill your children because so (laughs) so, uh, not as fast as my jokes will kill Fox but anyway um So this kid had been going through life without any sort of immunizations or vaccinations or anything that would basically keep him healthy. And he was going through life begging his parents like, let me get a vaccination. I'm tired of being sick all the time. And they're like, no, we're protecting you, little Jimmy John. That's not his name, but it's convenient. Also sandwiches. Also sandwiches, yeah. <laughs> 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 but um, I think he was like 15 or 16. And he went out himself behind his parents' back. Because he's like, fuck you. And he got himself vaccinated. Oh, damn. Yeah. You know, he I just... actually saw a meme about uh, this, but keep going. I... Yeah, no. Um, His parents were mad at him for it. Of course. They were like, it was like a slap in the face when he went and got himself immunized. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, mother. I don't care if the if the vaccines are made of monkey livers. I want to live. I want to stay alive. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so they mm-hmm. were pissed at him for looking after his health. This is where we are in life. In the 1980s, kids would sneak out to get drunk. In the 1990s, kids would sneak out to smoke weed. Today's day and age, kids sneak out to get vaccinated. To fucking live. What is this world <laughs> coming to? I don't fucking know. That's the meme, though. I saw this meme popping it's, up several it's, times. It's not even a meme. It's, it's sad. Fact. Yeah. It's just sad. <laughs> Oh my goody goody gosh, god damn it. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, one of the bikers said kaboom. 
Nice. We're doomed as a species. <laughs> This so makes me mad I guess I have autism, but it affects so me. If, so, oh, if humans are, so if humans are doomed, then I want to shortlist for becoming an elf or a Bajoran. <laughs> <laughs> Were the parents I, of that kid religious? I don't remember. All I know is that they were pissed at him for it. And, but, like, online, he's been getting a lot of messages from other kids who have similar stories of parents who won't allow them to get immunizations. Mm -hmm. And they're asking him, like, so, like, how did you do it? How did you go and get get these immunization shots? Like, I want to, I want to get one, too. I want to not, you know, die from a completely preventable exactly. disease. Mm -hmm. Or, oh, tetanus shots. That was one that was very need still needed today. Jesus Christ, if people don't get their kids vaccinated with tetanus shots. <sighs> you didn't need your left arm, right? Yeah, really? Nope, nope I didn't need that. <sighs> nope. But That's nope. okay, I can jerk off with the other one. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can, technically. It, it'll be... I'm a righty, so the left arm, not as important. However, <laughs> however... On that same note, it also means I am heavily restricted with which arm I am using to uh, hold the pornographic material of which to jack off with. Yeah. <laughs> hey, no, you want to hear a story? I had to get this unique vaccination during college, and it was in my last term of college uh, for my associate's degree. I had to get... It was a new... It was a new rule that I could not register for classes without proof that I got vaccinated for this specific disease. I can't remember what it was called, but revolved around, I think it was some kind of spinal cord disease where it's basically um, the most contagious in my age group between ages 20 through 30. And yeah, I was right. Meningitis? What? Meningitis? Yep, that's it. Yep, I had to get vaccinated for that. Fun, fun. Or I could have continued my I exams. That. I could have continued my exams if I did it. So, yeah. Is what it is. I hate shots. They scare me. Too. George, you know I tried... What's, you know I... what's scarier? Shriveling up, shriveling up into a prune because you were afraid to get a fucking shot for tetanus. Yeah, oh, yeah, I know. It, uh, the disease scares me more than the shot, I assure you. <laughs> <laughs> you say, anyway, so like this him. shame will hurt anyway, much less than dying, I assure you. Anyway... Uh, George, I did not have enough time uh, throughout uh, this week to catch enough Pokemon to get XP off. <sighs> Former tattoo artist, I dance with needles. Hey! <laughs> Thank you. Man, could you fix my tattoo? Lady Bliss is looking a little scruffy. Yeah, really? <laughs> she needs a little touch up on the black areas. Uh, some of the black is fading. <laughs> I shit you not, it is. <laughs> I don't know why. So, so, so the white lady needs more black on her skin. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ellie did on it. <laughs> you can I find me that. the ink that you need, I could give it a shot. I don't know what tattoo ink to- I don't know where to find that. <laughs> I thought can't you, you just, can't you just like buy it on Amazon? Like you can get everything on Amazon. You can I, get I squid know. ink on Amazon. I don't know shit. <laughs> you actually can get squid ink on Amazon. Do you use vitamin A and D ointment every so often? It helps to preserve the colors. No, I don't. What happened was, and this is not really because the tattoo is faded due to being exposed to the sun. It happened because I scratched it too much during the healing process. I I really had a hard time not touching it. Stop oh, touching it! Stop touching me! I knew somebody was about to. But, uh, Iris said they just released the live D Lady in the Tramp trailer. Yeah, nope. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just skip that. Like no, I do I'm gonna go- I'm gonna watch it! I will be the guinea pig! Oh boy. I uh, will be the guinea pig. How much are you willing to bet that the animals are going to be CGI? Of course they are. 
Well, mm-hmm. their lips are going to be anyway, but let's see. Well, yeah, no, that's kind of bound to happen. Like, that's that's a Yeah, that's a, that's a given. But... Yeah. All right, I'm watching it. Yeah, but no, it, it'll be all like Lion King. Lightning where all bless, the... we knew you well. Good luck, Aww. soldier. <laughs> He's a cute little puppy. Run it over. Whoa! <laughs> okay, the animals are not CGI. That's good. Okay. What is this guy fucking stomping with that's, that just ejects me into the fucking atmosphere? Their faces are playing? animated when they talk. That's okay. Cycling is fun. Forget surf. Oh, fuck you! Wow. Yeah, you're not allowed to surf on the fucking route for cycling. It's dumb. It's very dumb. Surf's not allowed. Who's gonna catch me? The surf police? <laughs> so Little how did do I not... Go ahead. I thought he had where? How do I head mm. south from Future City? Oh, wait, wait. You go down. You go south. From there Future we City. go. Because I like I was like down there most of the time thinking, okay, there's got to be a way down there because there's a direction. If you're trying down to there. get, if you're trying to get to Cinnabar Island, it would actually be a lot easier for you to go back to Pallet Town and surf south from there. You know what? I'll do that. That'll help go through the game more. Sorry, I cannot bother to get Zapdos and Articuno. And I think I triggered someone. Did you get okay, Moltres at least? Okay, I watched the least? trailer. And honestly, I'm not sure yet. There are definitely and obviously clear moments when the animals are CGI for the obvious big action scenes. The hell is but, over here? Okay, fine. They don't go. fully CGI. Okay, fine. Go run. Go run. Go get run over by that cart. Right, exactly. Um, I do know one change they're making, and I don't like it. What? Uh, you remember Jacques? Mm. The, the Scotty Terrier? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah the, the yeah. little black dog. Yeah, I, so, but he's one of my favorite characters from that movie. I love his accent. I love his captain leadership-like role. Uh, don't worry, lassie. I'll take good care of you. Loved him. They're making him a bitch. What is? What do you okay. mean? As an unlikable character or something? As in no, the literal uh, female. As in a female dog, yeah. Yeah. It's no longer going to be Jacques anymore. It's going to be something, someone else. I don't know what they're changing his name to, but it's going to be represented by a female. Equality for all! Why do you need to replace Jacques? Why? Something, something toxic masculinity? I don't fucking know these days. Why? Art- don't you know? Artistic integrity is for sale. Yo- <laughs> That's what it feels like. Like- like I can, I can even understand that they're probably not going to do the Siamese song, the Siamese cat oh, scene. Oh God, yeah, no, get that shit <laughs> out of here. I can probably understand why. Because they're it, fucking annoying. They'll that reason song it was... as. Go yeah, ahead. They'll reason it as being more PC. I'll reason it as that song fucking sucked to begin with. Good was... riddance. Yeah, no, it's just that whole segment is just uncomfortable to watch. Yeah. If I had to listen to one band for the rest of my life, what would it be? Uh, probably The Midnight. 